Hey guys, just to let you know that this video is sponsored by Ant Keeping Depot. In today's video, I'm actually unboxing a package from Ant HQ that they very kindly sent over for me. After a lot of umming and ahhing at all the choices on their website, I finally settled on these. Now, I was super impressed with the packaging polystyrene box in a box. After inquiring about this, it turns out that this is dependent on the species, colony size, and the temperature in the country at the time. So that can vary from a large letter box all the way up to a heat pad in a polystyrene box, according to the owner. So these are them. I chose the American Harvester Ant. If you want its scientific name, it is on the screen now. And one of the main reasons I went for these is pretty much two reasons actually. It's because I don't have any harvester ants anymore and I've never had these harvester ants before. Along with the ants they sent over one of their nursery tubes and this comes with a very basic feeding or foraging area that you sort of push the test tube through like a rubber grommet and therefore you can sort of put your food outside for the ants to collect themselves. Now it is quite handy because the sting on this queen is quite strong and potent and I'm not planning on experiencing it and every time I was going into the test tube she was charging at me which meant you know doing my routine and maintenance and that was actually becoming a little bit of a chore. So with this little unit I can actually just drop their food in and they can go and get it themselves and they right now that is the queen can't climb up the vertical sides. So this is essentially after I've built it it was a bit of a fiddly little box on the end and have a bit of fiddle to get the actual test tube in. I found that they give you a spare rubber ring. I popped that round the glass to try and minimise vibrations. But this is it. It's essentially a test tube with sort of like a naturalistic sand internals with the water medium actually being sand. One plus about this though is you can fill it up once it dries out. So the move was actually relatively easy because of that charging that I told you about before. The queen came straight at it and straight into it. And as you can see here that she like sort of came back and then she's going to turn around again, go back in and then she's going to discover that there's another small hole that will lead onto another chamber. And we went on like this for about 15 minutes and just going in a bit deeper and then coming all the way back out uh, even at one point coming so far out to of way up living in the foraging area but luckily for me that this didn't last too long as you can see i have actually took away their original test tube because they're now in the box now i stepped away for about 30 minutes and upon returning they were in the very first segment of test tube and this is where I took the opportunity to try and get some nice close-up video. Only problem is because the test tube only has a small opening the light can only enter from one place to light them up and that was sort of disturbing her so she would actually walk away from my camera and all my lighting which is obviously very natural. But I hope that you enjoy these nice close-up shots. I must say I really do like looking at sort of like the golden shimmer of the hairs. They actually do look quite nice. I don't know what it is but sometimes in certain lights at certain angles it can look like they've got like gold encrusted heads but obviously that's just all the hairs. It was a mix of exploring and being disturbed by my lights going on here. Now, I was worried about where they actually drink from, 
but after talking to the shark, they sort of, it does get enough moisture in there for them to drink from, and as I'll probably be heating it with a heat cable, that will cause dew, etc. on the glass, and they'll obviously be able to drink directly from that. Well this has been a, been a quick introduction into my new colony, and I'll be bringing you a new video very soon. Thanks a lot guys.